Hey friends, so got another Overland piece of eye candy for you. Man, we are we are up to the gills with Overland stuff and I just love it. So this is this is Gentex. It's the company that basically customized this thing. Now the guys were telling me this is roughly a 3,500 pound gross vehicle weight ratio. So I, I just want to kind of point out a couple cool things that they did to this on their own to make it special. Now we've got the roof roof kit up here. You see that folded down. There's a sleeping area inside. Well, I'll show you that when we get to the other side. But I, I just kind of want to point out, Jay and I have talked about this a lot. This is a smaller vehicle, but it's made to take off the, off the pavement. You're taking this into BLM land and you're getting away from everybody. This is something that, you know, Rothmeyer would be, if you've ever watched the show, a friend of ours, uh, this would suit him. Uh, this would probably be a little bit too, too high, high class for him, but you focus on the living space being outside of the vehicle, right? So that's gonna be key here. So weather, inclement weather can be a little bit more difficult with these, but come back here and check this out. Um, so of course we got the high boy jack here. We got a spare for the uh, for the trailer, and then again they've got this thing set up so that everything folds out. Uh, they tell me it has a tap in it, so there's a kegerator in here somewhere. This is your fridge freezer, AC DC probably. You got your, uh, I mean, you got to go, you know, full on cigar stash and uh, whiskey bar up here if you're going to do this right. Um, you got some work cook kitchen prep space here. This looks propane to me. It's got, uh, looks like it's got a fresh water tank on it, I would guess, based on that sink being there. Again, storage space inside is gonna be limited, so we're mounting the propane tank outside, and that's fine. It's not a big deal. You don't need to keep that in the, in the, in the rig itself. More storage here. And then, Jay, get a look at this. So, so it's just sleeping space inside, but man, all the creature comforts. You got an air conditioner in there. You got a radio. Uh, you got a little bit of cabinetry. And, I mean, you're not, you're not meant to be hanging out out there, guys. Now, remember, this is for sleeping, right? So you're gonna spend your time outside. They do have an awning up here above you. So if you do have inclement weather, you're out in the rain or whatever, you can pull this stuff out and you've got some sheltered space outside. So it's pretty cool. Um, the other thing that you, you probably ought to consider <laughs> is if you're gonna tow this thing, uh, you're gonna have to probably take that hitch on your standard Ford F-150 <laughs> and flip it over. Now, the Bronco, interestingly enough, especially the Sasquatch package, probably is gonna match up to this pretty close. And because this is only 3,500 pounds, it's towable by those new Broncos. So there you go, I just found your first camper for you, Bronco owners, you're welcome. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Remember to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell, we'll be back at you from SEMA soon.